Saturday the 24th of May 2008, 18-year-old Rob Knox, who had played the part of Marcus Belby in the film Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and who had been promised a part in the next Harry Potter film, was stabbed in a fight outside the Metro Bar Sidcup in Kent in the early hours of that morning. Rob had stepped in to help his 17-year-old brother Jamie, who had gotten involved in an argument. Known troublemaker Carl Bishop was arguing outside the bar, but he was outnumbered. He left the scene, went home and returned with two kitchen knives. A large crowd gathered and a fight ensued. Rob Knox ended up being stabbed five times and five other people were also injured. One man getting stabbed in the neck that had left him permanently spinal damaged. Bishop was under police investigation at the time for a robbery and burglary, but had not been arrested. The Metropolitan Police subsequently disciplined these two officers and changed its procedures as a result of this incident. A post-mortem examination held at the Royal Prince's Hospital Farnborough revealed that Mr Knox had died of internal bleeding as a result of the five stab wounds, one of them severing an artery. Cole Bishop appeared at the local magistrate's court charged with the murder and with wounding five others. He was remanded in custody to appear at Crown Court at a later date. Wednesday the 4th of March 2009, nearly a year after the murder, Carl Bishop appeared at the Old Bailey in London and was convicted of murder. Giving evidence at the trial, Bishop said that he had been very angry as a child and had attended anger management courses. He was expelled from school and began getting into trouble with the police for criminal damage from the age of 14. Prosecutor Brian Altman described Bishop as a person who carries knives like others carry pens in their pockets. Thursday the 5th of March 2009. Carl Bishop was sentenced to life in prison with a recommendation he serve a minimum of 20 years. He was also given three other life sentences for wounding Knox's friends in the attacks. The Knox family has since set up the Rob Knox Foundation to help young people get into acting. If you would like any more information about murders, please visit our website at www.murderuk.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.